Yo, what is up, big pimps, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys some very, very brand new Fortnite news, and I am very excited to be bringing you guys. As you guys know, the new map update was planned to come out tomorrow, and it still is, but this is official confirmation from Fortnite, and there are some very minor details that I want to show you guys as well. And uh, anyways, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of the maps before we actually get into the video. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys um, just the clips of the gameplay that they revealed. And then we'll talk about a new part of the map that they added. And I'm really, really excited for this. So I'll show you guys the gameplay now. In this gameplay, they show the new maps. They show the junkyard. They show the city. And they show the motel. As well as another addition. They show the soccer field. So this is a huge, 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 huge. I'm very excited for this update. Um, I hope you guys are as well, but they are actually adding a soccer field We're not too sure if they're gonna be adding a new game mode I remember somebody saying something about a soccer field or a soccer Fortnite game or something like that But I'm not sure if it was a joke or if it was hundred percent real or what's going on there But there is going to be a soccer field that you guys just saw it right now um, It's a, yeah, it is a soccer field doesn't seem too big I uh, wasn't too sure if it was in a stadium or not, but we got a soccer field and that's going to be pretty interesting and really cool for the game But the update is going to be coming out tomorrow uh, January the 18th, which is a Thursday. and I'm very excited to be seeing this update uh, There are some other new features that they added uh, We're actually going to be going over the whole update as well as the bug fixes and everything in the game So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into that and we'll put up screenshots as well So you guys can check out exactly what I'm talking about and you guys aren't as confused because they added a lot of bug fixes and a lot of fixes as well uh, No new weapons or nothing like that, but they definitely added a lot of fixes to the game which is really really cool let's see so we're gonna go ahead and go over the bug fixes and now so this is version 2.2.0 so uh, they're adding the map as you guys know they're adding the new map and uh, another thing they're adding was a battle pass so they're adding battle pass bonuses so I'll go ahead and put a screenshot up of that uh, so here I'm gonna go ahead and read it off for you guys So one of the battle pass bonuses that they add is get a free five tier head start in season three When you purchase the season two battle pass buy ten battle pass tiers for the price of six with a special bundle in the store on sale now for a limited time and uh, Let's see they're wrapping up the winter event So they said this for as far as the winter event as you guys know for like Christmas and all that stuff They said thank you all for being a part of our 2017 battle royale winter event we couldn't ask for a better community to spend our holidays with. The Save the World Winter event has been extended until January 24th. Uh, they got a thingy for voice chat. It says, continue your conversation in the pregame lobby, which now fully supports voice chat. So, as you guys know, whenever you play uh, with your teammates or with your squad, you can't talk in the pregame lobby. You can only talk whenever you actually join into the game where you're with everybody and you're about to get on the battle bus or whenever you're actually like in the game in the battle royale. And then here's uh, the patch notes, like as far as the bug fixes for Battle Royale. This is for the weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot up so you guys can see it. It says, remove the scoped AR from supply drops, updated the scope for the scoped AR, replace the old arrow reticle, I, I believe that's how you pronounce it, with a more modern design. It should be easier to tell where you are aiming and where your crosshair actually is. The snowball launcher has been replaced by the normal grenade launcher, thank god. Slightly increase the size of the grenade loot. And here's some other bug fixes. It says, fix frag and smoke grenades exploding on impact when hitting shallow water. Fix an issue where the grenade toss animation ended prematurely when tossing the last grenade in the stack. The boogie bomb effect will now kick players out of weapon targeting. Players can no longer place traps while affected by the boogie bomb. Explosion effects now play properly on water surfaces. And then they got some more stuff for gameplay. Uh, friendly fire is now disabled. This is expl exploratory, exploratory. Damn, I can't even read that. I'm stupid. And subject to change, we'll be closely evaluate. <laughs> we'll be closely evaluating this, uh, evaluating this, and want your feedback. Players will now immediately aim their weapon upon landing on the ground if they press and hold the aim button while in the air. Pickups no longer take priority over reviving uh, down but not out squad members. Empty chests and metal street lights will no longer block players from building. Corn stalks are now destroyed upon taking damage. Uh, here's some more bug fixes. They added adjusted how ammo crates drop ammo so what they don't overlap the ammo box itself. Attempting to use a scope while playing an email will now cancel the animation. Fix an issue that prevented players from picking up unlimited players items. Fixed a few issues which caused supply drops to pass through player built structures. 
fix an issue which caused the trap to deal no damage if a ramp or roof is placed in front of the trap. Build mode uh, visuals no longer persist when using a launch pad or when knocked into the down but not out state. Fix an issue that allowed players to see through the smoke grenade effect while scoped. You can now move forward and backward while gliding when facing straight up and down. The cozy campfire trap no longer heals eliminated players. Fix an issue which caused the glider to sometimes deploy sideways after using a launch pad. Uh, they got us some fixes for the world itself. The map has been updated with many new points of interest, biomes, and more. Players now interact with grass and foliage as they walk through it, so they added a lot of animation and stuff to the game, so this should be pretty excited. exciting. Uh, added water effects when entering and exiting water. Added a new post-process effect for when your camera goes below the water surface. It will now look like you are actually underwater and you can no longer see for an infinite distance. Added ammo boxes to Dusty Depot. Increased the amount of metal harvested from shipping containers. And then there's another bug fix. They added water no longer blocks bullets and projectiles. I don't remember that ever happening. I remember getting shot while actually in the water, but... Um, as far as the item shop, they got another thing right here. It says, starting on January 17, 2018, players should see six daily store slots instead of four. Starting on January 21st, 2018, the weekly item shop is changing to the featured item shop. Offers will update twice weekly instead of once. Uh, this one's pretty cool. So for the UI, they added sniper eliminated feed messages now included now include elimination distance in meters. So whenever you shoot somebody and you kill them, it'll pop up how far you killed them from. When spectating a faraway player, a loading message may be displayed for a short time and the game world will appear after loading complete. You cannot switch to another spectator player until the load completes. The reset building choice option now defaults to off in Battle Royale. Added a new option to select which voice chat input device to use. Uh, here's some more bug fixes. The select mode button is now grayed out and unselected after readying up. When selecting report player, the name field will no longer autofill for the player's own name. Adjusted the cancel slash unready button so it looks more like the ready button. The press E to pick up prompt no longer persists for down but not out players. Fix an issue that made the voice chat icon appear to be active if the player disabled their voice chat while it was active. Fix an issue which caused the revive icon to remove over a player if two players revive them at the same time. Players will now be able to unready if the party leader cancels matchmaking while in the loading content phase. The matchmaking UI will now properly update when joining a different battle royale lobby while the user is set to ready. Fixed local user allowing uh, a lot let me read that again fixed local user always showing up in the global leaderboard with zero wins if they aren't in the global top 50 list so they fix the leaderboards finally uh, if you guys know the leaderboards are pretty buggy for a while and then they added some more stuff for performance dang there's so much stuff added level streaming which loads on the world as fly as you move around enabling a richer map and improved performance Let's see, reduce the amount of system and GPU memory used, optimize visual effects played when, player, when played when distant buildings are hit, improved overall frame rate by optimizing how player animation and footsteps are handled. Let's see what else. Cozy campfire and boogie bomb items no longer cause a hitch when seen the first time in a match. Encountering players with the specific skins for the first time in a match no longer causes a hitch. Art slash animation greatly improved the visual quality of distant trees by using imposter billboards instead of regular mashes. This also improves overall frame rate and reduces visual popping as you approach the trees. Um, so they got some more stuff for audio. They added a new audio for pickaxes. So whenever you break stuff, it's going to sound different. Added a pickup sound effect for the damage trap. And here are some more bug fixes. I'll go ahead and put them on the screen, but I'm not going to read them off because this is taking a very long time. <laughs> And uh, let's see, so we'll read off the general. Uh, voice chat now supporting the pregame lobby. Cosmetic items can now be rotated in the locker and store pages. Left click and drag or use the right thumbstick on the controller to rotate them. Remove the winter theme from the pregame lobby. And then here are the last of the bug fixes. And that is it for this update. Fix an issue which allowed players to get credit for completing challenges that were not completed. Fix an issue which allowed aim assist to function while using a mouse. Friend requests can now be sent to players that have left the match using the plus icon next to their name. Clicking join on a Discord invite when the client is not open would no longer cause you to fail when trying to join your party. So that is it as far as this update. That is a lot of stuff to go over. They honestly put a lot of work into this update and I'm very excited to be seeing it in the tomorrow. But I hope you guys are as well. And if you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys could go ahead and help me out with the like, I'd super, super appreciate it. And if you guys do enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the content as well, you guys are more than welcome to subscribe, but subscribe because you want to, not because I'm telling you to. Overall, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I've been Mark and I will see you guys later.